Okay. All over Ireland there are these things called Raz or Rahines and it depends on where you go. And where we live in Wexford, they're called Rahines. And there's a Raheen at the back of our house and it's a circle of trees and inside it you're always told, as little boys and girls, we were always told, never ever ever take sticks off the Raheen because the fairies live in there. Now the fairies aren't like your little old fairies. Why? 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 What do you say? The fairies aren't like little ones you read in a book with little wings. They're not little hippie fairies, right? The real Irish fairies are real people. They're small people, right? And you, they love to... Yeah, and they play music. And they're a little bit cranky and they're a little bit vicious. They're not like these old English fairies you'll get, right? Or, or the French mice. Yeah. Now, what happens is, right, lads? Lads, listen now or not? Where we lived, there was a when we built this house here actually, you always say you don't build between where there's two fairy ras because at night time the fairies walk from one raheen to the other. Now I'll show you what a raheen looks like someday. Floor Nelly was in one, so was Epi. There are circular yeah, trees. Yes, you sure are. You came at me. There was one in the garden. Show us tomorrow. There's one in Ballandagan. There's one in our my home place where I grew up. There's one in the back of the field, right? No, I can't remember. Me and you and Quiva went, and we heard the music playing. Remember? Do you remember that day? Oh, yeah. Do you remember that? There were fairies playing music. Right, but listen. <laughs> so if you build your house in between the fairy path, at night time, the fairies will come and they'll start to move all your furniture around <laughs> to turn your telly on. They'll move your delf around and they'll annoy people. So loads of people have to get new walls put in their houses or new doors so the fairies can walk through. But there was one house that we knew of in Ballygarrett. It's a true story now, right? And there was a family called Kinsellas. And the family was to go to bed at night time. And they said that every time they get up in the morning, everything would be moved around the kitchen. So they went to the priest in Ballygarrett. And he was a new priest who was a curate. And they went up to the priest and they said, Father, will you come down and bless the house? They said, the fairies are in the house. Now, the priest came down the next day, right? And he had a hat on him and he took his hat off and left it on the table and his hat fell from the table onto the ground and he said that shouldn't have fallen but I'll pick it up so he picked it up and he put it back in the table and it fell again and next time Mrs Kinsler went down and said I'll get it for your father and he put it up and it jumped off the table again and she says he says to her leave it alone that hat doesn't want to be on the table so he knew the fairies were in the house when that happened, right? So he said his prayers and he blessed the house. And he said there'll be no more fairies in this house. And there were no more fairies heard in the house. But the priest died three weeks later. And he said that the fairies came back and turned him into an old man. He went from being a young priest to an old priest. And everyone around Ballygard still talks about that. And they all say when you go to Whelan's house... Now, Quillen's bought it after Kinsella's. And if you look up the chimney wall, you'll see little footprints of the fairies that walked up the chimney wall. They're still there to this day to be seen. Now, that's a true story. Mm. Well, Daddy, I'm so...